Welcome to another Pixlr lesson. And this lesson is the first in section 5 on using the blending tools in Pixlr. And in this lesson we're going to create a double exposure using two images and blending them together. So this works best with an image that is a silhouette, but it can also work with two images. It's, it depends on your selection of pictures and how well they blend together. But in this one, this silhouette of the dog is going to be the main image, the background image. And then we're going to blend it with this image of the field and also with an image of a dirt road and the street at night. Now you can get different effects depending on the images that you choose and the different blending modes that you choose. So we're starting with the dog as the background image. So I've opened up the dog as an image and now we open the second image. Select that image, copy and paste. I want to select all of the image. So you can use the shortcut keys and that's in the edit menu. Control A to select all. So Control A, then we want to copy. So I'm going to use the shortcut key Control C. Or you could do it again from the edit menu. So I'll use the shortcut key, Control C. Then we can close this one now, Let's finish with this. Select the main image and then we're going to paste. So it could be edit paste or Control V. I'll use the shortcut keys. Now you really need to have your secondary image of, of a similar size to your first one. Uh, if not, you can always resize it using Edit, Free, Transform. So here's my, I'm holding the shift key down, here's my secondary image. I really want this one to be the same size. So I'm just going to use Free Transform to make it fill the same window. Holding the shift key. Moving it around till I get it in the right place then accept the changes. Now we want to unlock the background in case you want to move things around. So if I, if I turn off layer zero and with the move tool I could move it around. The only problem is I get this transparent background. So there's not a lot you can actually do to that background. The blending is going to come from layer one. So with layer one selected, you toggle the layer settings and it's the blending modes that are in the mode box. Let's just move that over. And really what you need to do is experiment with different ones and see what they look like. So if I start from the bottom, subtract gives you that effect and then you can play around with the opacity of layer one till you get what you think is a good picture and that's not too bad it's a silhouette that's going to give it this effect two photographs that are you know, of which one is not a silhouette gives you a totally different look so let's just go through a different one screen where the actual field comes through in the in the dog itself and then you can change the opacity within the dog of that field we went on to layer zero and tried to do the opacity. The, um, the transparent background comes through. So you can't do a lot with layer zero. It's all going to be with layer one. So that's screen overlay. And just playing around with opacity to see what effect I get. Multiply, which looks quite good because it's, uh, it fits the dark image of the background. I could make that a little bit washed out, that one's not bad. Lighten, opacity just changes the inside of that dog. Layer doesn't give you anything. Invert, not really that useful. Hard light, just changing the Erase, difference, that one's a nice effect. 
Daken. Alpha. Add. And normal. Well, you can't see anything. So you've got to pick one, see which one you like. So let's go with screen and about 80% opacity for this one. And then you can save it. Before you save it, you would flatten the image. So I'm going to layer, flatten image. And now you can actually play around a little bit more. Uh, not with the blending modes, but have a look at the adjustment settings. You could play around with brightness and contrast from the adjustment menu and change the brightness or the contrast. Or look at hue and saturation and desaturate the of all the, both images. Colorize it, changing the hue. So there's sort of all lots of different things that you can do. So here's a few more examples of some double exposures using the dog. Here's the secondary image for that image, just an, an historical city. And once we add the dog into it, and use the blending mode is difference with 100% opacity. That image is then being flattened and the contrast from adjustment, brightness and contrast has been increased to 90 to get that effect. So here's another image. There's the, the secondary image, the street at night. And here's the result. And this uses the multiply blending mode at 60% opacity on that uh, se uh, secondary layer. So here's another one. The secondary image is the big tree. And here's the result. And this uses the hard light blending mode at 53% opacity. Now you don't have to have an image that has a silhouette. You can have two images that tell a story or have some connection and blend them together. And here I've got a mountain, road over a mountain, together with some sheep. And the sheep has got some sort of silhouette to it, but I'm going to try and blend those two. So the road over the mountain will be the background image. So it's the sheep that I will copy and paste. So Control A selects everything, Control C, copy, and then close that one, and Control V to paste it in. And then edit, free transform to move it. So let's just make sure it fills the whole image. Hold the shift key to keep the proportions. Apply the changes. And unlock the background. And then on layer one, try some blending modes. So difference. Hard light and you can change your opacity so not much there that I like. Lighten. Darken. Darken is something there we could play with, leaving the opacity alone and perhaps doing something to the background layer. So it's Deselect this one and just go to layer zero and try some different adjustments or filter. So I can put a filter on here. So I'm going to put the hope filter and then bring back layer one. And again on layer zero, perhaps do desaturate it a little bit. Desaturate it so we can look at reducing the saturation of that layer one, which sort of has a nice effect. You've got one sheep in silhouette there, you've got the actual shepherd in silhouette, so I'll probably stay with that. Then flatten the layer, flatten the image, and then save it. So what we did in this lesson was, was blend two images together and try and create a double exposure. What you have to start with 
are two images that are going to look good when blended and then just play around with the blending settings and the filters and the adjustments. So that's all for this lesson.